India is a pristine land of innumerable traditions and rituals. Although despite having witnessed or belong to this rich society, we lack the understanding behind several rituals and brand them superstitious and meaningless. Watching this video till the end, I'm sure you will be amazed and proud to know how thoughtful our ancestors were in designing various rituals and customs for our holistic well-being. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. What is the significance of Navratri? Ever thought of it? Well, literally Navratri means 9 auspicious nights. It is observed once in the beginning of summer and next in the beginning of winters. If you observe the pattern, it is celebrated at the two junctures of seasonal change. As the seasons change, the inner chemistry of human beings also changes. During this transition, the body's immunity goes downhill. We are more vulnerable to infections. So observing fasts was found to be an intelligent way to handle the situation. Even if you are not fasting, it was advised to keep your diet light during the Navratris. This so-called superstition was not only a way to prevent diseases but also a smart half-yearly detox routine. Whether it is Ayurveda or modern science, both are unanimous about the benefits of fasting. Even spiritually, ancient seers and saints found Navratri nights to be more conducive for sadhana. Overall, Navratri is an opportunity for the people to grow physically as well as spiritually. Ever wondered why is the people tree worshipped. This is because the people tree exhales an extremely high amounts of oxygen during the day. Women were advised to walk around the people tree early in the morning for ideal hormonal balance and easy conception. The purpose of keeping an idol was to give them all the more reason to follow this practice diligently. Apart from this, Ayurvedic scriptures talk about numerous medicinal uses of various parts of the people tree. Then you might have also heard someone saying that ghost resides on the branches of the people tree at night. The fact is that the people tree due to its dense nature also releases very high carbon dioxide during the night. Naturally, anyone sleeping under the people tree will be oxygen deprived. So this is nothing but a good example of how metaphoric language was used to simplify something complex which later gets construed as a superstition. Why is the Tulsi plant considered sacred? Well, it is a natural antibiotic, reduces stress, increases immunity, longevity and has a peculiar ability to keep the insects, mosquitoes and snakes at bay. Today, even modern scientific research has acknowledged its medicinal properties. Have you wondered if there is any basis to the makeup worn by Indian women apart from its aesthetic appeal? Eyeliner was designed as a way of applying cooked medicinal herbs such as amalki, haritaki, and barberi to the eyes to clean, cool, and prevent them from infections. Gold jewelry worn by Indian women is not merely a status symbol but it regulates the body temperature and enhances immunity. Then you will be amazed to know that the bangles, no ring, ear rings and the toe ring was an intelligent way of constantly pressing the acupressure points which helped women regulate menstrual cycles and maintain an ideal hormonal balance. During weddings, bride and grooms apply a mehendi on the hand and feet as mehendi leaves produce a cooling effect and reduces stress of the busy wedding days. All in all, all these rituals have certain meaning behind them. Ever thought why Indian puja involves so many precise rituals? Whether it is a temple, mosque or a gurudwara, these are the places with high positive energy. The devotees are asked to walk barefoot inside the place of worship as the positive vibrations can easily be absorbed through feet. During the arti of a deity, the cone shell would invariably be blown as it is done even today. Since villages were generally small, the sound of the shank would resound all over the village. Those who could not make it to the temple would stop whatever they were doing for a few seconds and mentally bow down to the Almighty. In Islam, this is achieved through the azan, the calling of the faithful prayer. Also, the sound produced from the shank is believed to purify the environment. Then applying tilak is another common ritual. It is applied on the spot that lies between our eyebrows, referred to as the Agni Chakra. The significance of applying tilaks at that point helps to conserve subtle energy of our body and keeps us focused. Our ancestors found that the sandalwood, turmeric and saffron paste is quite effective if applied on the Agni Chakra. This also explains why women wear a bindi at the same spot. Then have you ever wondered why yagna was performed? It might seem like a futile exercise of burning ghee, herbs, etc. to ashes. Although it is a sophisticated process practiced since the Vedic times to purify the surroundings. Many modern researchers too have acknowledged its benefits. Likewise, ghee lamps and agarbattis were used to create a positive aura. Then there are some rituals in India which have a symbolic meaning. For example, when we offer a coconut at the feet of a deity, we symbolically offer our own head, 
implying total surrender to the divine by detaching our ego from the self. There is a deep meaning as to why lotus, which is also India's national flower, is used in pujas. The lotus leaf never gets wet even though it constantly remains in water, symbolizing the man of wisdom who doesn't get swayed by sorrow or joy. Then if you have ever observed, when camphor burns, it leaves behind nothing at all but a soothing fragrance. Its use in the puja is also to mark the burning of ego and purifying the environment. Practicing and understanding the deeper meanings of such rituals keeps the head light and ego low, isn't it? Never sleep facing the north as you will get scary dreams. I'm sure you have heard this. Well, there is a reason for it. As we all know that Earth is a large magnet with north and south poles. It has a strong magnetic pull towards the poles. Living in the northern hemisphere, if we keep our head to the north and stay in the same position for 7 to 8 hours, then the magnetic pull will put an undue pressure on our brain. This may also be the reason why you sometimes wake up groggy even after a long sleep. Well, you might not be getting scary dreams, but it definitely affects your health. So any direction other than the north is okay. In Indian culture, to face east while sleeping is considered the best. Do you know what is the concept behind doing a prayer before a meal? Well, we have discussed before on the channel as to why the ancient practice of eating on the floor in Sukhasana using your hands is highly effective in assimilating the maximum nutrition from the food. Let us take this forward and understand why Indian meal, no matter which religion you came from, always started with a prayer. It's no brainer that prayer instantly calms down our mind. And when we eat with a calm mind, we are able to eat food with more awareness which again leads to better assimilation of nutrients. Then our ancestors stressed the fact that every meal should start with a spicy food and end with a sweet. What is the reason behind this theory? It is well known that when we eat spicy foods, the body secretes digestive juices ensuring a smooth and efficient digestion process. Thus a meal starts off with spicy courses first. Sweets at the end not only gives us a pleasant taste but are also associated with the feelings of satiety. It is amazing the insights our ancestors had about the subtle chemical functioning of our body. So this clearly explains how Indian superstitions were well thought of considering the various aspects of life. If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see a part 2 of this series then please don't forget to hit that like button. If you are looking for a protein powder, Uziva's protein and herbs made separately for men and women is one good option. Yes, these are two unique whey proteins with added herbs. One scoop of the men version will give you 23 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of BCAAs, multivitamins and herbs like ashwagandha and moringa for better stamina and recovery. While a scoop of women version will give you 23 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of BCAA, multivitamins and herbs like shatavari and tulsi for better hormonal balance. Not only this, Oziva's protein and herbs is sweeter naturally with stevia and has no artificial sweeteners, preservatives or soy. These are truly one of its kind products in the Indian market. I highly recommend these to you. To buy them, click on the link down in the description box. Do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get 10% off on your order. So friends, that's all for this video. You can now support my work by clicking on the join button below. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. You can also follow me on Instagram where I almost every Saturday at 11am do a Q&A session. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.